Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I recently did a couple videos about peeing and urinating. Now, one of the videos was called Warning Signs About the Color of Your Urine, and the second video was about how many times you should be peeing daily. And I put direct links to both of these videos below in the description area, and you can take a look at those after watching today's video. Well, those two topics led to lots of different questions about peeing, and one topic that kept popping up was about urinary dribbling, which is what I'll discuss today. Basically, warning signs, causes, and solutions. Now, some men, or many men, especially as they get older, or if they have hormonal imbalances, basically dribble some urine after they finish peeing. Basically, you're done peeing, and the bladder feels empty. You even shake your penis to get out that last bit of urine before you pull up your underwear. Yet, for some reason, a little bit of urine still dribbles out a few seconds later. Now, if this has happened to you in the past or happens to you on a regular basis, you're not alone. In fact, there's a medical term for this called post-micturation dribbling, PMD, or post-void dribbling, PVD. Now, it tends to be more common as men age, especially older men, because the muscles surrounding the urethra, basically that tube you know, in the penis or even in the vagina that allows urine to pass throughout the body, they just doesn't squeeze as hard as they once did. Basically, the muscles are getting weaker. This leaves a small pool of urine at a dip in the urethra behind the base of the penis at the bottom. And usually in less than about a minute after finishing, this extra urine just dribbles out a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about the causes and then I'll get to the solutions. And of course, again, one of the causes I just mentioned is weaker muscles. And I'll give you a simple exercise that you can do anywhere that you want, anytime, that will help strengthen this area. And as a side benefit, will actually give you better and harder erections. So I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Now, the second cause, another cause can be due to prostate problems or prostate growth, more specifically called BPH, which stands for benign prostatic hyperplasia. And this is when the prostate grows in size, hence the name hyperplasia. However, it's not necessarily a tumor or cancer, hence the term benign. Nevertheless, due to aging and mainly hormonal imbalances, your prostate gland enlarges and can partially block the flow of urine out of the bladder, which will then cause that excess dribbling after you're done urinating. The bad news is that if this isn't dealt with, it can actually potentially lead to prostate cancer. Of course, you need to speak to your doctor. You'll need to do a prostate exam to see the size of the prostate and do blood tests to check hormones and your PSA levels. However, the good news is that you can easily and naturally help shrink the size of your prostate to healthy, youthful levels simply by optimizing your hormones, which I'll get to in a minute. So one thing I want to emphasize here is that the weaker muscles and the prostate growth are again both due to hormonal imbalances, mainly the decrease in testosterone, but an increase of negative hormones such as DHT, which can cause hair loss and again, prostate problems, female hormones, as well as stress hormones. And I've done many videos about improving your hormones at any age, and I've listed those links below this video in the description area. So again, take a look. Okay, so let's talk about the solutions. The first one is to simply maybe just wait a minute, you know, after you're done peeing and then just let that little extra urine naturally come out and then you just shake it again and, and pull it out, push it out. You can also speed up the process by quote unquote milking out that last few drops by basically putting your fingers behind your scrotum at the very bottom and just gently like pushing out, right? Or pushing forward that last bit of urine and, you know, and then it'll just speed up the process. You don't have to wait, you know, an entire minute afterwards. Next thing you want to do is basically strengthen the muscles around the pelvic area. And to do this, you will do Kegel exercises. Kegels will help also improve your erection strength. So it's a double bonus. It's a very healthy exercise. And again, I've done a few videos about this topic, Kegels, and I've listed those links below this video in the description area. And solution three, the most effective and again, most important solution is to basically improve your hormones as I stated earlier, since that's the main cause. This is why it happens more to older men rather than younger men. 
It'll basically, when you improve your hormones, it'll improve the prostate, this problem, the dribbling, as well as the prostate growth, and it'll help improve erections and obviously muscle mass and fat loss and energy, mood, and so on and so forth. You'll look younger, you'll feel younger when you have optimal youthful hormones. The simplest and fastest way is to just, you know, take specific vitamins and minerals and herbs that help optimize your hormones naturally from within. Now you don't have to take external stuff like testosterone, creams, and so forth, which have their own problem. And again, I've listed the best ingredients and natural solutions below in the description area. Just one thing I want to say in conclusion about all this and the urine dribbling is that this can be a sign of a bigger problem down the road, just as is the prostate growth. These are all warning signs of, you know, aging and hormonal imbalances that you need to pay attention to, see your doctor or, you know, take the solutions that I've given here and improve this because you don't want it to get worse, right? You need to do something about this now because it will only get worse as you and I get older and it can lead to much bigger health problems, including potentially prostate cancer and impotence. Again, we don't want this, all right? Make sure you speak to your doctor if you need to. Take action on the, on the solutions that I've listed. You know, they're free. Most of them, you, you know, do them anytime, anywhere. And then let me know how things have worked out for you, all right? Just post your comments and questions below and let me know what other topics you want me to cover in future videos. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I wish you a very happy and healthy day.